guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the video series how did you become an interior designer i am celebrating my first thousand subscribers here on youtube as well as first thousand followers on instagram which is just crazy it all happened at once and to celebrate it i wanted to bring back one of my most watched videos which is how to become an interior designer but this time instead of talking about myself again i am talking to other interior designers that i have met through social media or in real life and asking them how did they become an interior designer because no one's story is the same i can promise you that and today I am chatting with a very talented a young man from Poland, Piotr Kalinowski. I'm sorry Piotr if I pronounce it in the wrong way. Piotr is a super super talented and edgy designer and his background is insane. Just wait till we get into the detail of it. Honestly, I think I could ask questions over questions and we could have discussions about so many things but today we are talking about his journey towards interior design we are touching on leadership as he's got a team of 15 that he's grown within just the last two years which is insane by the way and yeah and we are celebrating a very special event in his life in his team's life as well and i don't really remember how i found out about his company i think it's probably was through instagram um, and through his like amazing interior projects but every time i watch his stories every time i kind of look at his team i always thought there's more to it there's definitely something more interesting about it so i reached out to piotr and he was excited to jump on it which was an absolute honor and pleasure and you will see in the conversation that we do have a lot of giggles and we share a lot of common common opinions about the industry which is always great it's always nice to vent out with someone who understands you doesn't it he's an absolute visionary and i really really respect his humble approach to business to leadership and to design really as well he's very grounded so let's stop this weird fangirling talk i don't know why is this turned into this but yeah this is another long video so make sure you grab a cup of tea wine gin and tonic popcorn whatever you need and get cozy because here we go okay cheers by the um, way <laughs> cheers i don't have mine i drink drunk it already so you know you finished it <laughs> um, i don't have my tea as well but I was in hurry to to join your meeting and to really nice to meet you. I know. Really nice to meet you. Hey, amazing! You? Thank you for agreeing to do this. Um, what a what a crazy day to do this as well. <laughs> like you just received the news, so you're gonna be like on full on high, aren't you? This is actually I, I look the same every day, so that's not a really you know um, <laughs> something special. That, that's my look. That's that's you know I'm just super excited every day. Uh, but this is really, really important for us, and the day is uh, this is really special. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's a um, matter of many, many years of hard work, you know, uh, with the hospitality design and this recognition in the United States is for us is pretty um, amazing. What can I say? You know, what you've can I say? done it. <laughs> you've done it all. I I know you've not done it on your own. You've had a team, but you know, you sure. have done it yourself. You know, it's not like someone else has done it and. Yeah, that's when. You yeah, yeah, that, that's that's true. I founded this company with my beloved co-founder Katarzyna, who is responsible more for operation, like work. You know, we need uh, operation. Um, she 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 handles operation, all that things that needs to be done for the designers to make their work happen. Um, but I have my lovely designers with me, like fifteen architects already. Um, we work every day on many projects uh, from Poland and as well from abroad. So you know. Um, yeah, with like, you know, I, I I didn't expect that to happen that quickly. You know, <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> it, it is it is our first project uh, built. Yeah. Uh, it is our first big project. So I this guess is it's not really, it's not something that you really expect, really at no. all. In no, general, no, no. isn't it? 
of course, you know, you, you are a designer as well. So, you know, the, the mindset that you fight every day for the best, best, most, uh, like, mm, the best result in design. I, I focused mostly on design, you know, that's, that's, my, that's my passion. And mm, I could design all day, like 24 hours uh, every day. And this is not really a thing that you do for hours, but for, uh, but yeah. like being on a group of four the soul, isn't it? best on the world is for, it's pretty amazing and pretty unexpected that happened so quickly. Like uh, I, I'm here just to do, the, do some hospitality design work. I just love it and I cannot like stand every minute without doing the design and this is this is for many years already yeah so it might happen that from after some time you might have some award for your work because you put out a lot, a lot of projects not like and, and if you try to every if you try that every project you put out will be the best and and it is, it is very hard to to maintain this quality you know um, Sometimes you're not happy with the projects or the clients or other visions, so you need to uh, pass, you know, put aside your own visions, so focus on their, pro their their needs more. But if you do more, if you do the projects all every day uh, for many years, one of those projects will be the project that will be recognized. And exactly. this is yeah. this is it's this like is it's only like the tip of the iceberg, isn't it? And then below exactly. the water is all the other hard work that you've yeah. done. It. So it's not really a award just for that one project. It's really about your whole work that you've been doing so far. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so you know, I'm a humble person. I mean, on, on one thing, I, on one one side, I'm a hum very humble person. I don't like feel that this is kind of recognition that I deserve. And when like it's a it's a kind of it's a crazy crazy mindset that what you know on just one. Just it. Just take it all in, you know, let yeah. it settle, and then you'll next day you'll be like, Yeah, I'm the mayor. <laughs> sure. Okay, right. well, let's just start with like a little introduction about yourself. Tell us where you are at the moment, and then we will look at how you got there because that's really okay. all what this video is about. It's about showing yeah. people that there are so many different ways how to become interior designers. There's not just one sort of roadmap that you follow. Um, so that's why I wanted to connect with lots of different kinds of designers from all over the world. What a crazy time we're living in, by the way, that we can, you know, connect like this and reach out to each other. Yeah. Um, really? So, yeah, so I just wanted to reach out, introduce your story. Um, so, yes. On to you. Tell okay. us where you are at the moment, what kind of interiors you do, how long you've been doing it for, and things like that. Okay, thank you. Um, you know, um, my name is Piotr Kalinowski, and I'm an interior designer from Poland, um, exactly from Wrocław in Poland. This is the city of Southern Poland. Founded my company called Mixed um, two years ago with my co-founder Katarzyna Meyer, and we've been doing the hospitality design work. So we do mainly hotel projects, but also student housing, co-living. Um, we do also some office design uh, for, for certain clients. Um, we do some retail design, like um, food halls or food courts um, for, for, for some time. Like we did some three or four really nice projects uh, last two years. Yeah, so many, it's a public service, pro like public spaces. Um, mm -hmm spaces we design for people um, we do not do residential that much we don't do mm, apartments mm, but we focus on, uh, on 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 spaces which are connected with the public like you know um for, for mass people like the, the bigger projects you know um we work for clients like hilton uh, like accor um for many chains including ehg or um i don't know marriott mm, all the bigger brands uh, as well as boutique hotels and smaller brands as well, like Kubus from Poland or from for Selena from States. Uh, so we do we do many many interesting projects, and also in co-living and and for um, student housing, we do many projects as well. And especially this year, because this is uh, coming to be um, a part of hospitality which is growing despite the the COVID situation and That's the student you, housing. Sorry very challenging at the moment how to carry on yeah, how to design. 
it is very challenging indeed. Uh, so, you know, um, we've, we, we are 15 architects at this moment. Um, we um, managed to not lose any people uh, during the crisis, um, main to, mainly because we did, we were growing so fast before the crisis. So we just cut yeah, all of the projects off and the existing projects could uh, keep us uh, like afloat, you know, for, for many, many months. Um, and probably the, the, the situation will be better uh, with every month. And as I, as I see from, from tenders and, you know, from situation from, from my clients that it will be better, but 2020 is a bad year for design. It's not a big year. Uh, we need to face that. And also, you know, as, as for us, as mixed, uh, we are a company that focus very, very much on design of experience uh, rather than decoration, rather than interior design. Uh, many, 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 many years before us was recognized for as a decoration. Yeah, we, we, we very much go deep into our, the brands we design for or the, our clients or the stories uh, behind the, the locations. We, dub, we, we look for many, many interesting, engaging stories behind um, uh, the client first. And some, some of my friends uh, from agencies, uh, I was talking like a few, years ago, a few days ago, he told me that this is approach, it is called B2B to C. It's business to business to client. It's like we focus on the client first, for, for example, for, on the hotel guest or maybe on the retail you know, user. Uh, we don't focus on our client that much. I mean, our clients are super important for us, of course, and we um, are grateful for the trust, but we, at the end of the day, we design for the like, yeah, end user. Mm -hmm. and user exactly yeah. so that's our focus um that's, that's and we aim, you know, try to make fun with it that's, that's all <laughs> are you then now in a position where you would maybe turn down some work which doesn't really align with your values about the whole you know if, if the client's not really into the whole experience and really going more deeper into that level would you be in a position that you know actually we don't want to work with that or would you still carry on yeah um I think so. Um, not many, like, you know, it depends. Uh, many, many clients come to our office, including like T-Mobile. We design offices for T-Mobile right now, or I don't know, many, many major clients, which you could not, you wouldn't expect that will be interested in the work, but they are because we are convincing them that this is important for the modern um, world yeah. that they need. Uh, in meaningful interim design. Mm. It's not, uh, you know, we work with, for example, with, with the office design and with clients which hire thousands of people or many hundreds of people. And those people living in the Instagram era and the era of social media and, you know, traveling and all that stuff, mm -hmm. this is really, really special time in, in our world's history. And those people were, will, um, do not work in boring offices, they, they will do not come to boring hotels. Mm -hmm. And interior design has become a part of the culture, of the pop culture. You know, it wasn't before, it wasn't like that, like five years ago, 10 years ago. Right now, your scenography you have behind you. Yeah, uh, it's, it's all about your, the setting, isn't it? Yeah. It's all part of your lifestyle, you know. It's, mm -hmm. It doesn't, it, it's it, even the offices, it's the part of your lifestyle. You want to have the lifestyle you want. And, you know, uh, if you choose the company, you will choose the company with the better office. So if, exactly, if yeah. my clients hear that, they say, okay, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not only decoration, yeah, it's, it's about the experience. So the, and the ergonomics, for example, for the office or for hospitality is the experience, you remember it. Mm -hmm. So you can, you know, say to your friend that this is a really, really amazing hotel. You need to see, yeah, it, yeah. or maybe you, go need, to the to lobby and see you need to experience it. Yeah. You need it. Um, it's, the world is really thrilling right now. You know, you have the Netflix, you have the Amazon, you have everything. You have everything on your finger. Yeah, like, the, you know, yeah. really near. I think it's, it's absolutely what you're saying. It's our duty almost to introduce clients who maybe haven't caught up with the trends yet, who haven't caught mm. up with the millennial kind of generation needs. And it's our sort of responsibility to introduce them to explain them because they just they might not really exactly. know they don't understand it yet how important it is for their business you know to be growing and to be successful exactly. like you said so that's where you are yeah. at the moment 
Then what did you do before Mick? How did you get into interior design? How long has it been? You don't need to tell me your age. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> you can guess. Uh, I think you can guess really to be accurate. <laughs> How did you start it? Um, did you go to school or did you train yourself? How, how did it all begin and how did you become the owner of Mix? Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, a ter I'm 36 years old. I will be oh. totally honest with you. I'm 36 years old. I'm, I, I feel older maybe than I am. I don't know. Um, it's the, it's I'm the a young industry. still. I don't know. Um, this is, uh, I, I'm in interior design. I'm like for, for like six or maybe seven years. Um, before that, I sorry. No, okay. I thought you would be for a longer time then. So go on, go on. No, no, no. You know, before that, I was doing many, many other stuff. I finished uh, architectural studies, um, like the building architecture, uh, in two thousand eight. And after that, I worked with my father, who's an architect as well. Um, and I worked with him for two years, and I've learned a lot uh, from the very beginning because you know he was always in the house doing drawings and everything. So I've seen it as an, he was an architect doing buildings mainly, not in your design, but uh, I'm, more, I, I'm a pretty artistic person, I must say. Um, I, I was doing a lot of drawings. I was considering doing the uh, fine art studies, uh, but my father convinced me to do architecture. So I was like, okay. Oh, pressure. <laughs> okay, well, not? okay. Uh, but it, maybe, maybe that makes sense that you have the architecture degree then. <laughs> I, I, I'm not so, you know, once minded, so I sometimes need to check something new. And, yeah. But I think um, the architecture gave me the foundation that is, uh, that is important for my work as uh, working for big clients with bigger, bigger like scale, because mm -hmm. their architecture is more like structure. You know, you can structurize your work, you can think about the function more, and then uh, layer on the interior design on it. So mm -hmm. it was important for me after. After some work, after some years with my father, I started started to work on construction site because I was looking for my, I don't know, just some, some somebody got someone told me let's go for the for the coordination like project management of the site. I was like okay, let's try it, uh, and I was a good project manager. <laughs> I was a good project <laughs> manager, but I wasn't so happy with it. You know, it's just a, it was just like you know work with the, the budget cost control and everything. It's yeah. boring. Um, but we, I, I worked like that, like for one year or maybe one one year and a half, and it was a great experience. Again, um, experiencing you know clients from the other side, the builders, uh, the construction side, uh, all those like tough situations. The building site always happens, and architects oh, are nothing. The stuff that goes wrong, everything, and <laughs> you just have to think on the go, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And on the construction side, you have many challenges, which architects do not see in the supervision. Like they are architects are, from, from the construction side perspective, the architects are guys which are really nice dressed, but they do not like do any work. Yeah. <laughs> they're just, you know, they're just like kids playing with their toys and the construction guys are doing the work. And this is the perspective that I've, uh, the perspective I've lived for like one, one year. So I've, become very humble about my work as an architect mm -hmm. because I've seen the other, like, I've seen, the I've got the drawing from the architects, I need to build it. And it was really tough, 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 um, tough tasks. Yes, it was yeah. many, many mistakes, many, um, like the architects are, you know, that's very visionaries, uh, like, but they still have um, uh, some kind of other perspective on the construction. So on this part of my career, I've gained, I've gained many, 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 many interesting insights on being a construction specialist. And this is, this is, you know, this helps me a lot today. Yeah. Um, yeah. And th then after that, I've been, uh, I was working with a big college company uh, uh, doing architecture work because I quit, you know, I'm, I have, I had many career like moves, but um, yeah, I, I used to work in corporation for one year. Uh, I used to be an architect, like for buildings and building permits. And my, my passion for interior design was started when I received, uh, my, my, my boss called me and said, listen, there's a, this hotel design project and we, we, have not the, we have no one to do it. So you will have to do it, but you have one week. Like for the oh, first right. the club, because the guys from Accor are coming and they will, uh, you know, need to see something. And I was like, <laughs> okay, why not? So 
uh, I put this, you know, put this black paper and I started drawing and I, I really managed, I, I really felt that I really like it, you know, mm. because this is uh, some com combining the, the, the visioner, uh, the, uh, the, the recreative, being creative and also um, some kind of this deep experience and, and intellectual analysis of the guest and you know and, and it's really clicked it's a and different after view one point. week or, yeah completely after, different architects look at the whole space but interior designers are within and looking exactly. around right yeah yeah so you know after the one week or two weeks uh, i've presented this to at this time, it was a design manager for Accor Hotels, which came to Krakow and he wanted to see the best work possible. And he, I was just like <laughs> one day after the first visualization. So we put the screen on and I was like, Jesus, come on. And this, this guy was like, yeah, I really like that. Yeah, this is a good project. Yeah, I really like that. It's okay. Let's go with it. Yeah. And I was like, seriously, after one week? <laughs> and, and my boss was like super happy. <laughs> of course he yeah. was. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and after that, she started to send me some uh, hospitality projects. And I was like really grinding. I had uh, worked with Accor in Poland in 2012 and 13. I did like 30 projects, you know. It, it was like oh, yeah. one after another, one after another. And it was very, very like 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day. I was just designing with my team. Mm, first it was one like one person after... Two years it was eight person in my in my team and then it was 12 person and um and i couldn't yeah like you know it was it was really intense we we've tried, we started to win some awards we started to win some uh some good clients uh, from from abroad for we were we, we were working with budapest for example or uh we were working with paris uh, like qatar like projects and I was really you know on the go I was really happy I was so young and doing the thing I love and this was this was the moment I realized that this is my thing mm, with all their background with construction architecture um, you know the artistic uh, part and the, those the, those are elements which are which were uh, created me as a as a interior designer and so yeah after after those years I've, I've decided to quit my job and start my own studio and this was two, two years ago and two years ago I started my own studio and I started to you know fight for my own projects and fight for recognition and for to, to be able to work with interesting projects again and this happened and so here I am today like you know okay. with so 15 did you, companies. did you use like some connections that you kind of grew whilst you were working in the other company or how was it where you reaching out to completely new people? You know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's both like, you know, uh, I had, I, I'm a person like, who I really like people and I, and I really stay connected with people. So uh, probably some people from the, from the, from the, my career has spoken to me. They said, I have this project. Yeah, of course, that yeah. did happen like but not so many times i needed to reset myself completely in the networking area and start to be recognized as a independent designer uh, and a designer representing mixed and this this took a lot of time yeah it it wasn't very easy i didn't do any like i didn't take any projects from my previous company didn't do all that stuff you people sometimes do i was just i i'm too honest you know yeah. i'm authentic person i i wouldn't sleep at night very well <laughs> so i just <laughs> I said, just I quit. Let's do it again. Like I reset myself, and I, I, of course, I had some contacts. But you know, it was like you need to, you need to prove that you are able to do really good work by yourself mm -hmm. uh, without a team, uh, without the support of you know any money, any any you know any big persons behind you. You needed to build everything from the from the ground again. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty tough, uh, I must say, but uh, it is possible. If you have the experience and the come out of it and look at the team now, did you say 15 people in your 15 team? Architects, yes. Crazy. Well, that's pretty, I'm pretty, yeah, it was, you know, we, before the COVID started, we had really, really interesting projects coming from Dubai, from, uh, from Central Europe, of course, from Western Europe, from, I don't know, many, many, many interesting places. And, you know, the, the COVID has like, it's really? just a pause. It's, you know, it's not yeah. the end. It's just a little really? pause. Yeah. yeah. And like you said, your team had so much work on already that you were able to kind of just carry through and work yeah. on it during this time. Yeah. So that's, that's all a blessing itself, isn't it? 
Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm very grateful for all my team. You know, I, I, we, we live in a, make, like we live, <laughs> we work. I mean, I'm working so much that I say live, but yeah. we're still, uh, we have the office in a, in a house. Um, I've rented a house and this is, the house is like 100 yeah. meters. I saw that. I saw it on yeah. your Instagram and I was thinking, yeah. like, what is this thing? They bought a house <laughs> for an office? Yeah. What is yeah. it? I need to know more. <laughs> Yeah, the, the house is, uh, we, we call it mixed house and uh, our, like our culture uh, of the company uh, is based on this, that we help each other and we treat ourselves as uh, like friends, more, more like than yeah. the company. We're not so uh, official in contacts, mm -hmm. but of course with clients, we keep the, we have the project managers. Yeah. We have all that stuff, you know, we have design managers, we have designers, we have younger people, older people, whatever. But uh, when we, when, when a client doesn't see us, when nobody does see us, uh, we try to be a decent, decent human beings for yeah. each other. So that's, that's my uh, most important thing that we are discussing like 30 minutes ago in the kitchen, you know, uh, cheering for the, for the award that actually we feel like a, like a family. And that's uh, so important. Family. So important. Yeah. I feel like people will put all all of their efforts and even more double their efforts if they feel valued and if they feel like they are part of something bigger. So yes. I'm sure you feel that effort coming from them as well. Yes, yes. This is this is very important, you know, uh, to to maintain people motivated and into the work, and so they can learn from you. It's a uh, it good to have a good quality contact with them, the relation needs to be clean, you know, it's a, if you, if you do a corporate style mm, company, it won't be learning so much. You won't be able to handle the, the growth. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to have the team that is with you, uh, no matter what, when you have the worst day ever, when you have the, you know, better day ever, uh, <laughs> people have their own problems, you know. Uh, when you go to work, you need to have some possibility to release uh, a real energy. The authenticity is very important for us, and this is this is probably that uh, this is probably the thing that that leads us to interesting designs. Because if people are free and they they feel that they are like accepted as they are, they start to um, really really uh, design the way they feel, not yeah. the way they are supposed to do. And uh, this is as mixed. Uh, I, I've tried to create a company, and this is this is quite working. That people are individuals; they're not uh, a matter of you know just uh, one visioner and all peons doing the work every day. It's, uh, many. I'm not ready yet to to like communicate it uh, that much because we we have many many very very talented designers which rec deserve the recognition inside the house, and we will recognize them uh, when the time will be. All right for that um, and those, those guys are learning very fast and they, they're doing the best projects I think one of the best projects I've seen I mean this is a world-class projects yeah uh, so if you if you create the right environment for people and the individuals are like okay to make mistakes uh, and try some things uh, and you can like clean it so you still have the work yeah and, it's, it's like uh, a place it's a place for growth for everyone isn't it yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's people stay with us. They do not quit. You know, even sometimes there's so much work. Uh, the, 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 I'm very like a person which um, I have to say that in English. Um, I really like the work to be good. You know, yeah, uh, <laughs> to do the best. I think. Them, yeah, I think best. designers in general are perfectionists. Like yes, we, we like take that. work so seriously, and we take it very personally as well. So if something goes wrong, it's like, oh. It's my fault, isn't it? So fault, you don't yeah. want to be in that position. <laughs> but of course, you know that uh, if you blame yourself, you don't have any, you don't have any excuse to go with. It's just, if yeah. you blame yourself for every mistakes and you're okay with it, yeah. um, you can analyze it, you can think about it. Uh, yes, you can, you can make some decisions. You can learn on your mistakes. And this, this is very important for everyone, not only for the CEO, but also for designers, design managers, for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. The project managers, whatever, you know. For everyone, yeah. It's, uh, this is important thing. Yeah. Oh, what so, a crazy journey. I honestly, I could ask you, I think, loads more questions about all of the little parts. This is so fascinating. 
but Thank we you. only got like one yeah. video on this time. I, I'm so I'm so excited that you call, that you proposed this call. This is a this is my first call like to talk about it. I mean, not, the, not maybe not the first, but I think the most interesting one because you you seems to be a person which runs your runs your business and runs your uh, like social media presence the way I'm the same like it's a you're talking real things so you're uh, you're an authentic person you i see that you're working hard uh, on design and you know on the on the on your, on your brand so this is uh, uh, this is this is a mindset i i recognize as a this, this is really a good conversation so really thank it's you good it is it's nice yeah. to find people who are kind of on the same yeah. level and we are looking at things from kind of similar perspective and we understand it from yeah. the same perspective as well. So, yeah. well, you never know. There might be more collaborations to come. Of we'll course. put that on the back burner right. for now. <laughs> but what would you, what would you say? What, what advice would you give to someone who's now either thinking about starting to maybe start their own business or to go and apply for interior design course in uni or start architecture like you started yourself? What's maybe the biggest advice you could give to someone yeah this is pretty simple you know um when you're young you need to just do as much as you can um do as many designs as you can uh, or maybe try other things uh, you need to try things and see uh, if the interior design is the best thing for you maybe it's not maybe it's not uh, but if you feel the spark in, inside yourself if you feel that you're doing that you love and you like really design you like this thing uh, so it's a matter of time when the effects uh, of your work will, ma will match uh, your expectations. You know, it's a, I remember that I was first starting the design. I was so excited to do it. And when I was finishing my design, it was all shit. You know, it was <laughs> really bad. It was really bad. I was just seeing this, you know, I was putting my work here and some design things here. And I was like, oh no, I'm bad. You know? I never can make it, but it's, it's wrong. I, I regret that I couldn't have anyone um, around that could say, it's a matter of time, yeah? Uh, now you have social media, you have many interesting people that can lead your way through, um, through many things. Uh, like, you know, you can, you can go on YouTube or uh, I don't know, Instagram, and I can follow people that know how to do it. And you can, if they share their knowledge, they, you, you can do it with them actually, yeah? yeah. So this is, a, it's, you, you, if you're a young interior designer, you need to know your craft. You need to follow the people that, that know their best. You need to follow those guys. Uh, you need to like, be very humble about your work. Uh, you need to be very, very looking at your work uh, with, you know, don't, don't be afraid to analyze it. Don't be afraid to say that it's shit, actually. It's not, it's not good yet. Um, ask yourself, why is it? why it's not good analyze it go through it like this is not not good because of this and this and this mm. um so spend your time analyzing your work don't be afraid to put it out for people to to say what's their opinion but don't that listen to them, don't to them. <laughs> but, yeah they do probably say that they like it or not and this is all yeah. that that we need to know um and that th this really doesn't matter you know and when i was starting my mixed uh, i was really into some kind of uh, interesting trends like decor, hardcore, you may recognize this site, or maybe shit gardens, or this is kind of really ugly aesthetics. And what vaporwave, you know, this is a really big thing today. I was with vaporwave from 2012, like 12, you know. I said, I think uh, some things may, be, may look really ugly or not comfortable. Um, at some point, but after that, people will recognize that this is really good because the, the trends. Um, is a thing that changes, yeah? And so if you want to be trendy, you will design things that will be out of fashion in a few weeks, and you will be putting yourself just on the shelf uh, of many other designers. If, 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 you want to do, if you want to do really good work, which will be recognized, you need to do ugly work first and mm -hmm. be comfortable with, with it. And then with every step, try to do the best thing. But if you benchmark yourself to the design or Arc Daily or whatever site you want to be on, in, you will not win. Yeah. You need to benchmark yourself to your story and your recognition of what's okay um, based on your experience. And this experience will grow with time and you will recognize that this is valuable, that, this, this is, that you have the value with, with the, the work uh, just in front of you. And you, if you think this is valuable, 
for you and for your family, whatever, if you ask everyone around. Yeah. It may happen that it will be viable for other people. It doesn't need to be published the first day you do it. Uh, you don't need to do copycat everything that is published today. Sure. You need to look for something real, authentic for value. And if you have the value in this, for me, it's uh, thinking about the foundation of the experience, what people will discover in this, what's the connection with the story, uh, do, do, we, do it have any real engaging story with it? If, if the story is connected to the place when you design for, or for the client, or for yourself, or for any other thing that makes sense. Um, if, if, you know, there's, there's a, like 100 nice designs every day put on the Pinterest, like thousands, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. right? thousand nice pictures on the Pinterest. It's not really, it's, I think in a matter of many years, like five years, many, not many years, like five years, maybe three years or 10 years, there will be some algorithms doing interior design. Like they will be putting nice images every second. Yeah. Every fucking second, you know, mm -hmm. there will be uh, many, many designers doing the same shit every day. Same stuff, if yeah. You, you Computers will be designing for us, so it's basically yeah. so important to put your own flavor, your own touch on things, and That's find it. your own, I guess, your own style, maybe not style, your own vibe. And your values, you know, it's, it's a matter of values, I think. If you, mm -hmm. it's something important for you in this particular space. Yeah, if you consider something valuable for you, uh, and it's and it's quite universe, universal. Yes, it, for example, in Ibis style Sarajevo, we were traveling through Sarajevo, and we recognized that people that that actually this place is after a war, so this is a pretty traumatic yeah. place. But yeah. people remember the Winter Games as a place where everything was peaceful, and you know the Winter Games as a peaceful celebra celebration of peace in a city torn by war after eight years. You know, it's a, when you, when you consider there's a contrast of two story, as a story of contrast of two elements, really, really engaging everyone who sees it. And you, if, you can, if you can translate it into the details of the interior design, if you can choose the elements, right, you know, veneer, I don't know, furniture, lighting, graphics. Any kind of reference, yeah. Any kind of, re if, if you can reference the interior as a story, mm -hmm. and the story is good, the people will watch it like Netflix, you know. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. That should be a quote. We're gonna yeah, take that as a quote. <laughs> watch design as Netflix. That's the problem, you know. It's, uh, it's <laughs> many, I, I, I hope that you know you, you have the you're you're a very active person. I, I hope that many as many as I can uh, can I can inspire young designers because when I was young, nobody there is literally nobody mm. uh, inspiring me as an interior designer because you know the school. You know, there, there wasn't so yeah. much internet at this point. You know, people need to have uh, someone or some people that can go with them through the process, which is tough, you know. Yeah. You, you won't have so much money from the interior design at, at the beginning. You won't have so much recognition. You will be struggling to do good designs. People were like, say it's shit, or maybe you will say it's shit. But as you said, we are perfectionists. It's journey. Still, I, I, yeah. I uh, you know, so, I think you need to look at yourself and don't be afraid to put really bad designs online and yeah. see if people react to it. Uh, and you will see if, if the story behind it, if the interior design is engaging and it's good, it is, it is okay. Yeah? It'll pick so up. Be, it'll pick, it'll pick, I think it will start to live its own life and it will yeah. attract the right people, the right attention that it deserves. Um, so yeah, amazing. I think it's the best advice, honestly, for young That's people, because we kind of live in this perfect, like again, that perfect Instagram world where everything yeah. is so refined and pretty and finalized when, um, young designers or people who haven't got much experience in the field, they don't really understand how much work it takes to get there and how many failures yeah. and how many bad many proposals and, and all years. kinds of arguments and things going wrong it takes to get there. So, so yeah. You know that. You know that. <laughs> know that. We've all been there. We've all been there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to put all the links to all your websites, your socials in the description so people can it's, go and reach out to you or check out your work. Um, okay. And amazing. Thanks again for just doing this.
Brilliant. Yeah, thank you so much for invitation. It was really a blast. It was very really great. I had a great time today. Uh, and I, of course, I will just share it everywhere I can. Uh, oh, thank so you. Can thank you. Amazing. Sure. Now you go and celebrate, get another five bottles of Prosecco. Yeah, I, actually, I have a call in 20 minutes with T-Mobile, so I need to oh, know, wow. <laughs> get myself. Get prepped. <laughs> but, but I have project manager, so she can, she can, she can handle the, the all. Yeah. I like the decisions by herself. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, best of luck. Have an awesome day, and I'm sure we'll be in touch soon. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, big day. Bye. Bye.